Welcome back. In this lecture, we are going to talk about the merits of Hoshin process. There are six key merits I want to talk about in this lecture, which will help you appreciate how Hoshin process is more effective than any of the other traditional processes that you have been using, such as a balance scorecard or management by objectives or maybe getting things just done in any conventional way. So the first salient feature or first merit of Hoshin process is deselection. As the name suggests, traditionally when we want to prioritize, we focus on getting a list of items that we want to do and we usually don't deselect anything. The key of Hoshin process is deselection. So we first drop a set of things for which we don't have capacity things which are not important and then we focus on the remaining. Going to the second point, when we talk about what we want to do, we go with an attitude of must do, can't fail. The attitude is or I would say the mindset of the team and everyone else including the leadership and the processes that we have is such that we have to never fail in this initiative and at any cost we have to get this done. Thereby, because we are putting all our eggs in one basket, we will also be able to guard that basket so that we are able to achieve our goals. 